Let's pray. Gracious God who comes to share our sorrows, we know that you care because you came among us in the midst of the darkness. And we pray for those who are sad at this season, for those who have lost loved ones, for those whose families are divided. Give them peace that only you can give. Blessed God, into the darkness and into what is sometimes our darkness, you have brought the light of your love. You've given us a reminder of the many ways in which you care and guide our lives. Lord, we acknowledge again that this has been a hectic time for so many of us that we've invested ourselves, our energies, our resources into a flurry of activities. And now as we come to the end of this calendar year with a new year in view, some of us wonder how we're going to have the energy that this new year will demand of us. Help us. Help those who are weary to place their trust and their lives into your care. Lord, as Joseph listened to the angel telling him to follow you, help us to follow you in all that we do. Give us strength and courage for the times ahead. Help us to let love be the foundation upon which we build our lives. Lord, we are thankful. Thankful that you govern the times and seasons, that literally our times are in your hands, and we are grateful for times of joy, but we know that sometimes, more often than not, that with that joy also comes pain and sorrow. Our own families know those cycles of change as generations come and go. We rejoice in, in the babies and the children and grandchildren for whom this is their church home. And in the long life which allows many of us to see them grow up. Hear our praise in voices young and old as we offer to you now prayer of our own hearts. Heavenly Father, we offer all of these prayers, spoken and unspoken, to you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. <clears throat>